was just walking by. This is like looks like an old B1RD. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, originally it was a 1981 Robertson B1RD serial number 197. Now the, the old B1RD was a, a nice flying little airplane. It looks like you've done a lot of design change to this. Uh, I guess a little bit because you're big. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the B1RD was originally designed by Harry Powers and Glenn and Bruce Bashforth, who worked for Robertson Aircraft Corporation in the 19 late 70s and early 80s. Uh, all of them were somewhat diminutive individuals, very similar to Santos Dumont, who designed the Demazel. Uh, myself, being more like Hans Grade, who designed and built the Hans Grade monoplane, which was built off of Santos Dumont's plans, uh, decided straight away that the plane just uh, he just didn't fit. Uh, pretty similar, I didn't quite fit in the in the original B1RD. The, uh, uh, the the gas tank was right in my way. I was beating my forehead against the fuel petcock. Uh, I had to fly with my head on one side of the fuselage tube. Uh, the seat didn't I didn't fit in the seat, and my knees were up and kind of in my armpit. So. Uh, uh, due to some unscheduled arrivals, I uh, uh, ended up rebuilding it from time to time. And when I did rebuild it, I rebuilt it the way I wanted it rather than the way it was. Now, it looks like you've used the basic airframe, though. It looks like, although some of it looks in the back there, has, to be, has been changed. The, the main tube coming off of the bottom of the seat there in that area? Yeah, because the gas tank was originally up on the wing. It was a motorcycle gas tank. And I'm kind of opposed to putting that much weight up high. I wanted to lower the CG, uh, the aft for CG, and uh, so I put the tank down below the CG line on the on the wing, basically. And I see you're powering by a 582, and you've also gone to the gearbox rather than the belt drive. Well, I'm, I'm using a I'm using a gearbox and a 582 because that's what I had. I uh, I, I seized a couple of, of uh, smaller engines and and. Uh, had some difficulties with some smaller engines and unless you're made of money you kind of use what you got and that's kind of what I had so that's what I put on it. Uh, you also got these big uh, almost look like motorcycle wheels on this. So. No actually those are Skyways or uh, I get those from Niagara Cycle. Uh, they're Skyway 24 inch mags and then they've got uh, fatty O tires on them uh, which are bicycle tires that are made for the uh, bicycles that uh, street cycles I guess they call them now. But the entire, <clears throat> the original Robertson B1RD had uh, 16 and or 20 inch Skyway mags available for, that was a stock equipment for a Robertson B1RD. This is the same exact mag except for the 24 inch, which allows it to, which allows it to uh, go over big bumps a lot easier. Hey, because it's got a nice little suspension system and everything on it. Yeah, the original suspension system on a B1RD was uh, two and a half inches. Uh, two and a half to three inches. This one's been increased to eight because I've got bigger wheels, so I don't have to worry about banging the keel tube on. So, what kind of performance do you get out of it then uh, with the 582? Uh, it's it, it climbs it climbs really good. It, uh, it powers out. I don't. I very rarely use full, full power. I, I tune it mainly because I uh, mainly because it's water cooled, and I, I feel a lot safer with it. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, I don't have to push it ever. I generally cruise about 4,700 RPM. I never fly faster than 40. Well, the sails on this look a little different than the uh, original as well. Yeah, the, 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 the cord at the fuselage tube, the cord at the rudder has been increased about six inches, and the cord at the wingtip has been increased about six inches. And then the sails were, so, I sewed the sails myself, and they were, uh, they're increased about eight inches over the original sails, which allows me to give it a little more of camber uh, and, and the cord has been increased. So why have you done all this to the Robertson Bird? Just to have a nice flying little airplane? That's it's a purpose-built aircraft and it was built specifically for what I wanted it to do. How long have you had it now? Uh, probably, I don't know, 10 years maybe. And how many hours do you think you got flying on it? I got about, probably a thousand hours on the engine and the, air, on, and the airframe. <laughs>